morning karate nerds time for another day in the life video which a lot of you have requested so here we are it's time for a morning run let's go so today's plan is that I'm gonna do my morning session uh, consisting of hill sprints because I have the upcoming world karate championships in just a few weeks and I'm representing Finland of course although I was born and raised in Sweden biologically I'm actually 94% DNA from Finland because that's where my parents come from yes I actually did a DNA test so I'm gonna be competing in the world championships and I gotta get in top shape for that which is why I always start every day with training and today according to my schedule is hill sprints to get some cardio going and then after that I'm gonna be going to the photo studio with my friend Marcus my partner in Station International there's always a train coming when I'm filming and then probably have some lunch then I'm gonna be teaching a class in my dojo like every evening and today's theme is sparring and reaction time and fighting and probably we're gonna do some fun stuff in between let's see what happens but right now it's training the hill is right over there so this jog right now is kind of like a warm-up before the hill sprints the reason I love doing hill sprints is because it's very low impact it's better for your joints because you're not fighting gravity you're kind of going with it so there's less impact especially on the knees and ankles and this is so important because whenever you have a goal with your training whether it's a competition a grading or a fight then you need to understand the concept of periodization you cannot always train the exact same way because then you're gonna just get your old results you want new and improved results right you know the basic thing that you need to understand is that the closer you get to your goal the less volume you should have in training but the higher intensity you should have so it's kind of like this graph where the volume decreases the closer you get to your goal but the intensity increases the closer you get to your goal and most people do it the opposite they train more and more the closer they get to the goal which means that they always overtrain and get injured have you guys seen this ring I'm wearing don't worry I'm not married yet look it's actually a bio tracker so there are these sensors inside and this measures my resting heart rate my heart rate variability my body temperature my central nervous system activation level all of these things that help me manage my training and optimize it so i can reach peak performance You know, I never considered myself athletic. So it's pretty crazy to me that this will be my second world championship with my second national team. I think the major difference between me and other athletes at this world championship will be that they are there because this is what they're good at. But I've always oriented myself towards my weaknesses. Karate is something I wanted to become good at because I wasn't. And I saw this opportunity to develop myself through overcoming the challenge of becoming the best I could be. And that's why I compete in karate. Karate is not a sport to me. Competition is a very small part of the whole spectrum of karate. But I do it to become a better version of myself and overcome my own limitations and weaknesses. And that's why I do what I do. Like I said, the closer you get to a goal, 
the less volume you should have in training, but the harder it needs to be. So this session was short, but very intense. Now it's time for lunch and we gotta hurry because they said it's gonna start raining later today when we go to the photo session. Do you guys hear that? I think Oliver, my brother, and his girlfriend are downstairs filming some videos. Let's have a look. They call themselves the knockout couple. <laughs> oh no! They're being spotted! We're being spotted! <laughs> no! <laughs> Get out of here! We just Get out! <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Now, let's go make some lunch. Iberico, Spanish black pea. Oink, oink. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm actually gonna be cooking myself because whenever I can, I prefer to cook at home. But I recently bought a new house and it's being renovated, so we're gonna go to my mom's kitchen to make lunch. <laughs> Cooking is exactly like karate. There are three stages of mastery called shu, ha, ri in Japanese. The first step, shu, means that you follow a recipe perfectly in the exact sequence or order that you're supposed to do it. You do everything the exact way you've been taught. The second step, ha, is when you start to memorize the recipe. So you don't really need to look at the recipe anymore. You can throw it away. At this point, learning how to cook this particular dish is in your muscle memory and you can just do it without thinking. The last and final stage of mastery, called ri in Japanese, means that you can start substituting ingredients. You can make the dish your own and kind of use your own intuition and feeling and vibe to sort of change things up and not stick to the script anymore. And that's when you've mastered the art of cooking or karate. Shu ha ri. And with those words, bon appetit. So we're gonna be shooting four new products. Uh, the first is a high-end exclusive version of the Seishin Gi, which is a little bit heavier because some people requested that. Although the regular Seishin Gi looks like a heavyweight, it feels like a lightweight Gi. And a lot of people love that. That's why we have like 500 five-star reviews on the web shop. But there are those people who want something that feels heavy too. And you know what they say, the customer is always right. So we developed a high-end premium version we call the Seishin Supreme, which has a lot of cool features additionally. So we're gonna take some photos of that one to release it. And then along with that gi, you actually get like um, a suit bag or a uniform bag that you can carry it around in, kind of like what you would get if you bought a nice suit. But this is for your karate gi, not for a regular business suit. So it's kind of like this nice bag that you can carry it in. That's the second product we're gonna take some photos of. And then there is another karate gi, which is the Okinawa edition, which is perfect for the Okinawan climate because that's where our flagship store is. So we developed this new kind of Seishin gi exclusively for the Okinawan lifestyle and climate and it has a little bit of polyester in it, so it remains perfectly wrinkle-free and it doesn't stick to your skin the way that a 100% cotton gi would do and so on and so on, right? And then last but not least, the fourth product 
that we're gonna take some photos of is my favorite and this is something that doesn't exist anywhere in the world it's a completely brand new idea that I came up with for a special belt and I don't want to spoil the surprise but this will blow your mind I have no idea how people will react when we launch this secret belt but in my mind it's groundbreaking and I'm hoping to hear what you're gonna think about it you're gonna see it very soon when we get to the photo studio so stay tuned I haven't been here in a while oh yeah there's Marcus And then here is the magic stuff inside the station bag. Okay, so I'm gonna be modeling the Okinawa version and Marcus is doing the Supreme version. You know, it's kind of nice not to have to be the photo model all the time. Let Marcus have some of the spotlight. Okay, come with me. So, while they're filming, or sorry, taking photos of Marcus in the gi inside, let me explain this belt because don't be fooled by its appearance this is actually a black belt not a white belt but it's wrapped in a silk white layer so it looks kind of silver fabulous so what exactly is this belt well it's the shoshin belt shoshin is the japanese term for the beginner's mind so here's the thing when you practice karate for a long time and you're a black belt sometimes you might feel stuck like there is no progress happening and that's when you need to adopt the beginner's mind shoshin which is what this belt represents because the more you practice the darker it gets as the white layer starts peeling away until you can earn back your black belt see as the saying goes in the beginner's mind the opportunities are endless but in the expert's mind the opportunities are few and far in between see an expert is someone who knows more and more about less and less until they know absolutely everything about nothing and that is when you need to adopt the beginner's mind and that's the purpose of the shoshin belt earn back your black belt by wearing this down What do you think, Marcus? Satisfied? Excellent, excellent. What's your message to the karate nerd community out there? Wait and test it. <laughs> That's it. Three hours later, we're finished shooting the four products. Ooh. Now, time for training. Back at the dojo and people are slowly starting to arrive for tonight's class. Now, for some reason I'm always filming these when it's a holiday season, so I'm not sure how many people are actually gonna show up, but doesn't matter, I'm always gonna give it my all and teach my best class no matter how many people there are. I hope you enjoy this.
H ni sum. H ni sum. H ni sum sheep. H ni sum sheep. H ni sum sheep go. That's it. Another day in the life of a karate nerd finished. Let me put some lights on. Oops, <laughs> wrong button. So um, I guess that's it. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Do you have any questions about what I did today about the training or the teaching or the Sajin products or whatever? I always read the comments. So leave a comment and let me know. And until next time, train hard, good luck and have fun.